While it was a rare sight here in Hawaii, the Aurora Borealis was visible above the islands early this morning for the first time in over a century. A few Hawaii residents were able to capture the special moment. Nikki Shenfield has a story. A once-in-a-lifetime sight, the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, visible over Hawaii early Saturday morning. It was just spectacular. I was so shocked and surprised. The lights typically seen in places like Alaska and northern Canada, stretching all the way down to states like Texas and Arizona this weekend. Brenda Trowbridge lives in Na'alehu and saw all the photos from across the globe of the spectacular show. She figured there was no way the lights would appear this far south. So it didn't even cross my mind to stay up and look. So when I woke at my normal time, you know, around 4.30 and I opened Facebook, saw the Ka'u bulletin that you could possibly see them. I just ran out. I couldn't even see straight yet. And I was like, oh my gosh. You can see it, it's like pink and purple, and there was a little blue, and it was very faint. Around the same time, Haiku Maui resident Gil Torres took these photos of a Starlink satellite, unaware he was capturing the aurora too. One Oahu resident saw the beautiful show from Washington while visiting her kids and sent us these photos. We all jumped in the van and went riding around at midnight all over the place, parking and going under trees in dark areas and just filming whatever we could and got so excited. Experts say Aurora comes from charged sun particles hitting and interacting with the Earth's atmosphere. This week, one of the biggest solar flares in decades arrived. 1859, there was an extremely huge solar storm bigger than this, um, which caught telegraph lines on fire on the mainland. That's how powerful it was. We didn't have satellites and internet and stuff like that. But that was, uh, I'm told, recorded in Hawaii as sort of fire in the sky. And I think there might have been another one in the 20s or 30s that was visible here. So it is sort of a once in a lifetime event to have a so storm, you know, so powerful that it's visible this far south. He says there's a chance to see them again tonight. I've heard that there's been more sort of outbursts happening. So we may be able, if we have clear skies tonight, to have some more, maybe even other day or so worth of some activity. It just depends on the exact piles of material and when they interact with Earth. Aurora might not be visible to the naked eye, but the sensors on your camera phone can capture it quite well. Here's what you need to know. If you go into your iPhone settings, hit the camera, hit the one third moon. From there, you're going to scroll all the way to the right to maximum to allow for full exposure. Make sure you keep your hands still. A tripod would be ideal. And then you should see something like this. There's no predicting what time they can make an appearance. Just make sure it's not cloudy above you, avoid light pollution, and face north. Nikki Schoenfeld, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.